At this point, we've already created a uh, Euro cut list for um, actual editing uh, from the previous video. So if you haven't watched that, go back to it. And if you've coming into parts right now, you'll notice that that was the cut list we had created and we are working on. Now, some other points that I want to make is that each one of these cut lists works slightly different. So the frame may have a list of questions or sections to go to that are slightly different than the Euro, might look a little different. The bottom line is the end result is you go to different sections to set up your materials, to set up your drawer box construction, to set up those other things that are needed for the entire job uh, for construction. So let's go back into the Euro cut list and edit. And you notice we, we had it set for the butt joint. We don't have a CNC router right now. And we answered some questions here, whether you data or you don't, or what, what do you actually do? Now remember, because we said data here, up here, and let's come down, let's just set it to data also here, there are going to be questions further in the list in the quick load in the cabinet construction that now pop up that ask questions about how deep is your dado and this will affect your overall size of your part so it is critical that when you first come into the program when you're in this first section not to just skip it and go into these other sections you do want to set it for what you do as a default so if you dowel or you dado if you don't click that right here your questions over here won't have any reference to the construction method you have here. So just keep that in mind. So now once you've set up the first piece of it by coming in and just answering these few questions, you would want to come down to B cabinet construction. Now notice it says it is important to enter the values in decimal. Once again, if you put it in fraction, things won't work in here. So you do need to put, you know, if it's 11 and a half or 0.75, put 0.75. Now for three quarters. Now tops, bottoms, spanners, and sides, dividers. Well, here's your tops, your bottoms, your spanners. We scroll down and it just is asking some simple questions. Well, base cabinet, bottom depth. How much is your bottom less the depth of your cabinet? Well, we, we had told it to dado the back end. Well, right now it's making it the same depth of the cabinet. And if you look at the picture, when you say, what is depth? Does that include the door or doesn't it? Well, notice the depth is the cabinet, what you set it to on your design screen. So the bottom right now on a 24 inch deep cabinet will be 24 inches. If you decide that you want to leave your bottom an eighth inch in from the back, just because you don't like how walls are out on jobs because they curve all over and there's, you know, just problems, well, set this to 0.125 for an eighth. And that's just going to make the depth of your, your bottom here one eighth less the depth of your cabinet. So if it's 24, make it 23 and seven eighths. And if that's what you do, that's great. Leave it that way. If not, set it to the number you want. Now, further down in the questions, you know, we just have things that you want to click on and see whether or not you build things a certain way. Some people will have the spanners here on sink cabinets. Some want to have the bottom spanner. And they're simple yes or no questions. This is done for the simple reason that we're trying to make this quick and easy. Uh, your side height. These are adjustments. And in most cases, it's just going to work the way you want it when you answer the other questions further, you know, from the front side here on the A setup. Now you notice it says dado depth on side for back, back dado depth. So it's just asking how deep do you data that into your side? It's saying a quarter, which is all this is going to do is add a quarter of an inch to each, you know, subtract the left side and right side of the cabinet. And it's going to add a quarter of an inch to the, the dado depth. And we have adjustments all over the place as far as, you know, your shelf depth and your your shelf for your wall cabinets and tall cabinets, uh, much less uh, length, less opening. This would be your shelf clip. But just keep in mind, these questions are here so that you can set up things the way that you build them. Your material section you would come to next, you can set your, your actual materials. And, you know, what do you make things out of? Sometimes it's easier to make things generic than it is to make them uh, very detailed with every melamine material you might make something out of or wood species. So why not call it three quarter ply or half inch ply or luon or something of that nature. Uh, drawer construction set in here. And once again, you can have multiple drawer methods and you just set it. And at that point, you answer the questions. 
you know, will this be a metal drawer box system you're setting up? Well, if you say yes, the questions will relate to the metal system the way that you would want to answer the questions. You know, width of drawer box minus cabinet opening width. Well, this could be set up for your standard drawer box construction. One inch less is pretty common. So, but you could have another one for undermount tandem uh, uh, glides so that, you know, maybe it's, you know, five sixteenths or something different. So just keep in mind, you can do all sorts of details that that will allow you to address your different hardware and the different way you, you build things. If I close this, once again, I've made other changes. When I run this, those changes will take place when I, I go to calculate and I run, you know, a report that shows me a picture of maybe the cabinet or, or the actual cut list to actually build from. So, and if we actually want to look at one other cut list, let's look at the frame one. And I'm going to bypass uh, making a copy of it. Well, you remember I said things look a little different in some of these other cut lists? That's okay, because when we actually look at it, and you'll have to excuse me for a sec. I'm just going to move this over and line it up with the uh, video screen and, and bring that up and over. And at this point, same details. It does have information about setting up your materials or as far as, you know, for your doors and drawers. Here's your drawer section and you can set it up for drawer method one. Well, you remember how we had a question on the frame list that basically asked, how much less the opening? Well, you know, we have drawer box construction name here. Give it a name. Do you, you know, how do you figure the depth of your drawer? And it says, how much gap do you have between the style and drawer box? Well, this is just adjusting, just like in the frameless, for the different drawer guides. Bottom line is, when you answer the questions, the end result is going to give you uh, what you need.